My name is Janiel Bell. I'm a med fourth year medical student at Duke University. And my involvement with the Duke Global Health um, Institute is that the institute um, supported a year-long study that I completed in India. I was just browsing PubMed for articles on laparoscopic surgery because I was interested in general surgery, laparoscopic surgery, and I came across some articles um, published by a magazine that's put, put on by an association of rural surgeons of India. And some of the articles that they had were quite interesting. Um, most talked about procedures that were adapted for um, rural environments and rural hospitals that have limited materials, such as using mosquito net, which is a cheap material that we can get in the United States for hernia repair, as opposed to a lot of more expensive um, biosynthetic materials that we use here. And so I was just struck by the amount of innovation and the thought put into um, some of these adapted procedures. And I wondered what kinds of environments were the rural surgeons working in that fostered this type of innovation. I got the opportunity to visit a rural hospital um, in Lunan, which is a few kilometers outside of, like half an hour outside of a major city, Pune. It was quite an uplifting experience. The surgeon that I worked with had multiple um, operating th theaters. His operating theater was, um, was well equipped for what he was doing for his general surgery practice in this rural area. He had uh, a C-arm or a, a portable like radiograph machine, which would be the envy of many surgeons in the United States to have your own port portable radiology machine in your own operating theater. So it was quite a surprise to see that some of the materials or some of the resources that we see from the outside as being lacking or not there or hard to get in India might not be the case. A lot of the challenges that some of the surgeons spoke to me about were training of the par paramedical staff, getting access to online journals, continuing medical educational activities because there weren't a lot of opportunities offered outside of the urban centers, and getting medical supplies such as medicines, like specialty medicines. This is like a memory that I'll always have with me. And he just had severe jaundice, like his eyes were yellow, his skin was yellow, and he, he looked like he needed to go to the hospital immediately. He looked like he belonged in the hospital. And he was there with his wife and his, and his grandmother, who was just really anxious. And they asked us like what to do, because they knew we were um, medical personnel in some capacity from our association with SEARCH. And in that moment, I really felt like I was contributing. I definitely want a large portion of my career to be spent continuing um, the global health work that I was able to participate in this past year, especially, um, with, especially in the field of surgery. So I envision myself as using global health to make me a more complete doctor, being first and foremost like a public servant, then um, also being clinician, researcher, and teacher. And I think that Global Health brings together all of that. The Global Health Institute um, has helped me tremendously through this entire process. I felt supported from the time that I wrote my proposal and um, up until this point and continuing on, I've come away with relationships, um, contacts, and opportunities that are long-lasting. I'm still working on projects. I'm still communicating with the people who I've worked with um, over the past year. So I think that's like the greatest gift that was given to me. We're lucky to be at Duke and have a year off to even do this kind of research. So in a sense, just being Duke students puts us in that position.